So let's talk about how your favorite dropshipping gurus are lying to you. All right, in this video, I'm gonna expose how a lot of these dropshippers are actually feeding you endless hopes of you scaling a store that's actually never going to scale if you follow their strategies, which is the funniest part about this all. So one of the ways that they're lying to you is because they're actually getting told which products are winners by suppliers that they've built a long-term relationship with. Okay, that way they don't have to do product research, right? They're not gonna tell you this because you don't have that connection. You're not gonna be, but that's just one of the many ways. In this video, I'm gonna break down three other things that they're lying to you about. But before I get canceled, before I actually uh, get mobbed by the drop shipping gurus, do me a favor, light up that like button, go ahead and hit the subscribe so you can stay posted on videos just like this. Now, I also wanna mention that I do have a special announcement towards the end of this video. So if you stick around, it'll be well worth it. Now, the very first concept that we have to understand is the bucket concept. So this actually stems from uh, something that my mentor taught me out in Thailand, went out to his penthouse, stayed over there, paid a high ticket price to be there, and he revealed everything about this, all right? This dropshipping stuff gets a lot deeper than you actually think, okay? But the bucket concept, to keep it simple, is something where a lot of people are having slow shipping. So you have a, a hole in your bucket right here. You might have bad copywriting, so there's a hole in your bucket here. Your product might suck, which is gonna leave a hole right here. So what happens is you're spending money on ads, you're trying to fill up this bucket, but as much money as you'll spend on this, as much visitors as you'll get, you'll never actually be able to scale because you have leaks here, you have leaks here, and you have leaks here. So you'll never actually be able to hit that profit or you'll never actually be able to get a full bucket that you can carry and take out profits to benefit your life, to you know do all the things that you wanna do. So how do we patch up these buckets? Well, the very first thing that you gotta understand is the product, okay? The winning product is not so much about the product, it's about your unique selling proposition and what you're offering to your customers. One of the biggest concepts people don't understand is that your customer service is part of your product, okay? So if you have slow shipping times, of course, that's gonna play into your ads not converting. The reason why you can't convert is because when a visitor comes to your site and they see the shipping time is bad, then they're not gonna convert. The good news is if you actually get the visitor into your store and your shipping times are fast, you can put that in your headline, two or three day express shipping in the USA. That'll increase your conversion rate. So you're either gonna have one or the other. Your, con your conversion rate's gonna go down or your conversion rate is constantly gonna go up. Once you do that, you've patched one hole, okay? So you got a hole patched up right here. There should be no worries. Now you can put more money into ads confidently to grow your business. Now there's still other holes here. And obviously I'm just simplifying this whole concept, but you get the idea. These are one of the concepts that dropshippers will never ever tell you because you know, you won't keep coming back to their channel to watch more content. And a lot of them, you know, I'm not gonna say no names, but they make more money from their YouTube channels than they make from their dropshipping stores. So what they will never tell you is that you won't be able to scale your store past the six figure mark if you have slow shipping times. It, and even if you do, you're just gonna get hit with more returns, more chargebacks, a lot of customer complaints. That leads to inefficiencies which won't allow you to scale and grow your actual business, all right? You might be facing this if you got like, if you're doing like five, 10K per month in sales right now, you might know what I'm talking about. And I would love if you could comment down below with your experience of dropshipping so far. Another reason why you might not be able to scale with a dropshipping store as easily as these dropshipping gurus make it seem is because your ad sucks, all right? And if your ads suck, then people really don't have an incentive to buy from you. They'll just go to Amazon. But most importantly, if your product sucks on top of your ad being bad, what's gonna happen is you'll never be able to to get the reviews. Reviews are so, so important. I mean, this is probably like 80 to 90% of a consumer's buying decision. It's gonna come from social proof and what other people have had to say about your product. If you have a bad product, you're gonna have bad reviews, which is gonna lead to holes in your bucket, which will decrease the ROA on your ad spend. Now, if you have a good product, it's gonna lead to good reviews, 
which will lead to a higher ROA and more repeat customers in the future. Hopefully you'll get to a point where you don't even have to spend money on ads to make purchases. All right. So it's either one or the other. And you got to ask yourself in every aspect of your business, is this leading to a snowball that's going to grow upward or is this leading to a trail of no growth? All right. So every single aspect of your business, you got to ask yourself that when it comes to your customer service or even your shipping. Now I could go on for days with the amount of holes that might be in your bucket, but I'll limit it to three here. Another reason why you'll keep losing money with your drop shipping store is because you don't have a brand presence. You don't have a brand and the consequences of not having a brand is going to lead to visitors coming into your store and getting no ads to carts. Right. So now you're driving traffic to a turd, but then also you might get the visitors to actually purchase, but you'll get some refunds and some chargebacks once your actual product comes in and they see that it, it's not the product that they imagined when they bought online. So branding is a huge part of customer retention, overall customer happiness and patching up that hole in that bucket that I'm talking about. OK, I hope you guys understand the concept that I'm I'm going over so far. This is actually a big problem that I've seen as it, I would describe it as an epidemic within the dropshipping community over and over again. And that's why I want to announce that I'm starting a new coaching program called Ecom Empire. All right. No longer will I be teaching dropshipping or dropshipping tactics. I'm solely focused on building brands. All right. So if you have an online store that's doing five to 10K per month right now, it's not too late. You can still turn that into an actual brand, but you have to take the initiative. So I'll keep you posted with some more details on this program. I've been working with a few select students for the past few months, turning their online stores into actual brands doing over 50K, 70K per month. So I will be making it public. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe only if you got some value out of this video. I'll catch you on the next video. We'll be going over the top 10 products for July. I'll see y'all then. Peace.